Welcome to the Ninja X Show. Today's topic, the Disney Rotten Tomato Scandal. So everything I've been saying about Disney and Rotten Tomatoes has been confirmed. Disney has control over Rotten Tomatoes, the critics, YouTube, and the movie theaters. There's been plenty of evidence to back this up. They removed 58,000 audience review scores for Captain Marvel. They removed all other movies out of the theaters so that people can only see Captain Marvel. Thus not giving people a choice on what they can or can't see. Rotten Tomatoes is run by an ex-Disney employee. So he's obviously in Disney's back pocket. There are many fake positive reviews on Rotten Tomatoes, as if they were written by a spam bot. I'll make it very simple and clear. Captain Marvel is really worth a watch. It's just entertaining and visually impressive. Exactly what it was meant to be. Just keep this in mind. That it's an origin story so don't go looking for an overstuffed complex story. It's just a fun action movie that introduces us to a new superhero Captain Marvel, played brilliantly by Brie Larson. I became an instant fan watching her in this action hero in Avatar. There are critics playing softball when reviewing certain films, which includes Captain Marvel. We actually are in the industry if you want to talk about, quote, access media. Every single person that wants to have access to things early, that wants to get access to things so that traffic is drawn to their site will on occasion everybody at this podcast everybody in our industry occasionally has to play softball occasionally has to you know look the other way a little bit everybody has to do it wait wait we're turning what like a movie in, 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 the, in the sense or? that you know i hated a movie but i won't say that i hated the movie or a, an actor behaved a sort of way and you don't want to you know get it put right. it out there that that happened right because you might not get the next review right next so gig. to some okay. degree everybody in our industry that is a part of this quote unquote access media has to sort of decide which battles they want to pick, right? Which are the ones where my voice is the one that has to get said, right? And I think that this is the source. This is the thing that people are aware of. I think that they blow it up to be larger than it really is, but okay, let's, let's acknowledge what I believe to be a truth, which is that. There are Disney drones such as John Campia and Scott Mendelson defending Disney, Marvel, and Star Wars. They bash fans by calling them trolls, incels, and man-children. SJWs such as Kathleen Kennedy and Ryan Johnson have control of Disney movies. SJWs working for Disney has falsely accused anyone of hating Captain Marvel as being sexist, despite the fact that the same people who hate Captain Marvel praises Wonder Woman. SJWs even lied about the bad reviews for Captain Marvel are only for men. Even though there are plenty of female critics who didn't like the movie, YouTube manipulates the algorithm so that only the YouTube channels of their choice shows videos talking positively about Brie Larson rather than showing videos talking about her negatively. All of these things I pointed out has been confirmed by many YouTubers such as Comic Artist Pro Secrets, Geeks and Gamers, Clownfish TV, and The Amazing Lucas. They've exposed Rotten Tomatoes and Disney of the controversy surrounding Captain Marvel. This just proves several things to me. Rotten Tomatoes, the critics, the mainstream media, and Disney cannot be trusted. Disney is an evil corporation. SJWs are bad for business. The fact that Disney had to push out other movies just so Captain Marvel can make money in theaters is a very evil and greedy move by Disney. I am glad I have been anti-Disney since the age of seven.
I am glad people are finally waking up and seeing Disney for what it truly is. I have never trusted Disney and always knew it was evil even before finding evidence proving I was right. Disney is run by perverted, pedophile, SJW Satanists. All SJWs are pedophiles. Just look at this disturbing, creepy as fuck tweet this SJW made. Would you trust that SJW around your children? I sure as hell don't. Fuck Disney, fuck SJWs, and fuck Rotten Tomatoes. That's all I have to say. Tune in next time for more truth, logic, and common sense.